Hello guys. Um, today I am a walking torso because I have camouflaged pants on. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, yeah, I'm finally posting a YouTube video, so that's different and fun. I really do miss you guys. I really miss filming. Um, I've been posting on TikTok every day. Um, so if you guys miss me, you should go follow me there. But like, it's so easy to post on there consistently because I'm, it's literally like a 15 to 60 minute or second video. So I don't have any editing to do. I literally am just filming. It's not as time consuming for me, which is really nice. Today I am going to Dr. Hartman's office to get my lips filled because honey, it's been a while. Okay, we're gonna be numbing now. Gotta get these lips real numb so I don't feel anything because I am a baby when it comes to pain. <laughs> uh, I know. There it is. But. Do you want to sit? Yeah. Let me check on this for it. Oh, she's getting numb already. Lana, do you maybe want to record? Yes. Yes, I will. So this is Pronox. You guys, if you watch my other video, oh my god, I can't talk. My lips are so <laughs> numb. Um, this is Pronox. It is nitrous oxide. It's like a laughing gas. It just kind of helps me feel euphoric and like I've had a couple glasses of wine. And it makes me really not care that I'm getting needles put into my lips. And I have some Numb Master on too. And Origel on the inside mm -hmm. and the outside. So I'm, I'm about good to go. So we're gonna put a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of Carmex lip balm to make those lips softer and smoother for this. So what are you looking for today with your lips? Um, I just want a little bit more volume in the cupid's bow area. Okay. I want it to kind of fold up a little bit. Okay. Um, a little bit down here in the center. Okay. And a little bit on the corners right here just to kind of widen my lips a little bit. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll put a little bit in and, and kind of create a little bit of what's called a white roll where the light will reflect off that look nice and accentuate that cupid's bow of the upper lip, which is so beautiful. And give you volume in the pillows of the upper lip and then in, in the center there. Gonna be kind of subtle, not gonna do anything uh, extravagant. We want you to look naturally beautiful, not uh, weird. Yeah, I don't wanna look weird. That's not a good look. So tell them what the difference is between Jupiterm and Silk and why would you want to get one over the other? Um, so we use Silk more. It's a smaller molecule. It's a filler that's created for the lips specifically. That's what I use. And um, the nice thing about Silk is that it's really, really smooth. Uh, a person having filler in their lips for the first time will experience this. Maybe you did. Did you have a feeling of sort of lumpiness in your lips for the first couple of weeks, the first time you had it done? Well, or actually, the first time I ever had it done was with Silk. Okay. But he only put like a quarter in and I didn't really notice it ever. Right. So some people experience a feeling of lumpiness in their lips for the first couple of weeks, the first time they have it done, and then you don't really notice it after that. Um, but still, it minimizes that probability that you're going to have that sort of feeling. It's really smooth, small molecule. Um, it's great for lips where you really care that it's really, really smooth and, and um, evenly distributed. Hyaluronic acid is a molecule that's found in many cells of the human body, nerve cells and skin cells especially, but this is cross-linked. So a normal hyaluronic acid that we make and use in our bodies only lasts for two or three days and it gets broken down and rebuilt again. But this hyaluronic is cross-linked uh, with a special uh, enzymatic process to make it more stable. 
And the stability of this is gonna be six to nine months in the lips. And so we, we usually use about half of that syringe on the first time we do it. The other half of the syringe um, to use at three months or maybe six months. Okay. Here we go. And pinch for a second. And then, just tiny little spheres of filler there that we're gonna smooth out. It's pretty spicy, the upper lip, right? I mean, mm -hmm. you, you felt that. But, she's pretty tough. Now already though, there's lidocaine in this filler that she's getting. I'm putting tiny little spheres throughout now the pillow of the upper lip that we're gonna just smooth out here in a minute. Of course we're being conservative. We don't wanna have her look funny. Kind of generally adding volume to the lower lip. Popped up there a little bit. That smarts. Stings. Burns. For seconds or so. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Do you want more than that? Or probably what fall. about like some right here in the center? Below? Mm hmm Okay, I can see that. Wait, I gotta do this more because I'm not thinking. You're talking about the, yeah. I think we got your rim out here enough, uh, your roll out yeah. there. Yeah. You want a little bit of, uh, like, in the very center of yeah. the bottom? I'm gonna go jump in. Look up, howdy, okay. Usually if you let the no master sit on for longer, like a good 10-20 mm -hmm. minutes, you don't even feel anything. Yeah, but the lip, it, it happens pretty fast. Because I hardly ever feel anything. Like, I feel the tiniest little poke. Yeah, I probably just didn't. I mean, we only yeah. had it on for like five minutes. Yeah, if that. Yeah, not even. Oh, yes. This is perfect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You mm -hmm. think? Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we used, uh, today we used 0.42. So the then that will last me another... Just try to get two more treatments. Yeah, as long as you do two more touch-ups. Oh, so Restylane only has one thing. Uh, so, one syringe? So Silk has one syringe. Okay. One. So also, that is Alyssa struggling to get out of the freaking chair. She needs to hit the gym I do. or some I M sculpt. Or, or some M sculpt. Or some M sculpt. <laughs> mm, that's my next treatment. All right, look how good and plump these babies look. I am so excited. I'll give you guys an update tomorrow to see if any of it bruises. I bruise a little bit with Juvederm. Does that make a difference, Juvederm no, and Silk? It's yeah, just... so you might want to take some prednisone, though, tonight, okay. just so you don't get puffy lips tomorrow. Yeah. There's a chance that you could get puffy lips for one day. Okay. Yeah, I usually kind of ice a little bit throughout the day of, and yeah. I'm usually pretty good. Yeah, a little, a little prednisone tonight would be good, though. Okay. Wanted to give you all a little update about what's going on with my lips. Um, this is, what time did I get it done? What time is it now? Your lips have a zip code. <laughs> That's funny, Dad. I got it done like three hours ago, I think, and they are really swelling. And I don't know if it's just because this is a different brand. I usually get Juvederm, and this time I got Silk, as you saw. So I don't know if maybe they just swell a little bit more, but once the swelling's gone, it's supposed to be more natural. So we'll see if that's true. <laughs> I can feel them. They have a heartbeat. Like I can feel them swelling. I iced them a little bit, but my ice melted, so I had to put it back in the freezer. But yeah, this is this is them. <laughs> Aflac.